Peace and blessings, brothers and sisters. Just a short word, most high, that was put on my heart that I wanted to share. The house of Israel. We're reading from the 13th chapter of the book of Hebrews, verse 9. Be not carried about with diver and strange doctrines. Be not carried about with divers and strange doctrine. For it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace. Be not carried about with divers and strange doctrines. Divers means many, multiple, and strange doctrines. Be not carried about. What does that mean, brothers and sisters? Well... Right now, one of the things that brought me to sharing this piece with you, I went into the city yesterday, was just walking around, and one of the things that I saw, and I just want to share various pictures of you, of it with you, was the in all-inclusive churches. I don't know if you can see the flags, the all-inclusive churches everyone is welcome the all inclusive churches this doctrine these diverse and strange doctrines that some of these churches are teaching that god is inclusive of all something to my eye let me see if i can get it out that god is inclusive of all let me pause this for a minute and see if I can turn this light down. I'm hoping that this light is better. I also has something in my eye. Um, now, many people might think, well, I don't go to church, so that doesn't really have any effect on me. Well, one of the other things I want you to know about uh, the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, in the ninth verse, diverse and strange doctrines you also have certain schools that are now starting to mandate that the lgbtq history be taught new jersey california there are other ones who are teaching this as a doctrine okay diverse and strange doctrines all right diverse and strange doctrines okay one of the things that i wanted to share and they're ma and they've made this law they have made this law i know there are a lot of schools in california that are fighting it however again they've made it into a law new jersey just made it into a law this year and like i said i was walking by a church in center city just walking around and was shocked to look up and the church had um the rainbow flag talking about all are welcome all are inclusive okay so once again i want to share two different things with you all right i'm going to repeat just for a moment all right jesus christ we're in the book of hebrews chapter 13 at the eighth verse jesus christ who is the word of god is the same yesterday today and forever the word of god is the same today yesterday and forever jesus christ yeshua hamashiach is the same today yesterday and forever that's the eighth verse now let's go to hebrews chapter 13 the ninth verse be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines. Many of these church, churches are starting to teach these strange doctrines, diverse and strange doctrines, which have erred from the word of God in the eighth verse, Hebrew chapter, Hebrew, Hebrews chapter 13, verse eight. It says, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, also known as the word of God, is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow okay but be not carried about by diverse and strange doctrines why would it say that because it knew what the enemy was going to do these doctrines have entered into the house of god that's why there's a great falling away 
At the same time, I just want to share something else with you from the book of Romans chapter 1. Okay? And I'm going to skip around, but we're in the first chapter. All right? Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the corruptible God into the image, like unto corruptible man. I'm going to use man right now, there's more to that. Wherefore God gave them up to uncleanness through their lusts of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who change the truth of God into a lie. Many of the things that they're teaching, particularly in the house of God, where it says inclusion for all, yes, as long as you follow the laws, the word of God as best you can. Okay, these are churches that are married, having same-sex uh, unions. I can't say marriage because marriage was established by God between a man and a woman. Remember, the strange and diverse doctrines. Now, because they can't necessarily get people to follow them into the house of God, they're taking it into the schoolrooms. There is in California and New Jersey a law, a law, at least in middle school and high school, that uh, the LGBT, I'm not, I may not be calling all the acronyms correct, uh, community, the history should be taught. These are the young and impressionable minds. What people do behind closed doors amongst themselves is their business. They answer to God for that. But when you try to spread it to children, to young, impressionable minds, when you infiltrate the house of the Most High, first of all, Ichabod is written across the door. God is not with them. If that's supposed to be the house of God, they have taken on strange and diverse doctrines that are not of God. They are of man, and they're following man and not God. As a matter of fact, it's, I think it's the Pharisees and beyond. We're going to go back into the book of Romans once again and read. Further down, Book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 25, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. And for this cause, God gave them up to vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recomp recompense of their error, which was meat. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not con convenient. Now, again, when you're talking about the house of God and people trying to bring in their own doctrine, strange and diverse doctrines, diverse and strange doctrines. They're also infiltrating the school systems. These are public school systems claiming that it's for the safety of the LGBTQ community while totally dismantling and disregarding the law of God, the heterosexual community, those who have faith. Here is my point, brothers and sisters. You need to be aware when it says that the enemy goes out about like a hungry lion seeking whom he may devour, he is not just after the adults. He's after the children as well. He's after you, whether you're sitting up in the house of God, whether you're in the schoolroom, you really need to talk to your children because many young people are very impressionable. A lot of times in their confusion and in them learning who they are and trying to gain their own identity, many suggestions can be made to them where they'll think, well, maybe that's who I am. So you need to teach them about God, about the law of God. As a matter of fact, when you read in the book of Deuteronomy, it says you talk to your children when you're sitting down, when you're rising up, okay, about the laws and the commandments, the statutes of God. Why? Because you have the enemy where he is now trying to move into the house of the Lord. He's going into schoolrooms where he can. And there is an attack 
on those who are believers. So I'm just sharing this with you. Okay, I'm going to read it again. It is in chapter 13, book of Hebrews. It's actually verse 9, but I want to start at verse 8. Chapter 13, book of Hebrews. Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Word of God, because that's who Yeshua HaMashiach is. Jesus Christ is the Word of God. When you look in the book of Revelation, chapter 19, just to give those of you who may not recognize that uh, who he represents, okay, Yeshua HaMashiach, his name is also the Word of God. Okay, he is the word of God. All right, now, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Jesus Christ, the word of God, the same yesterday, today, and forever, forever, forever. God didn't yield a bend to earth and ashes, somebody that would be laid down, covered in worms and dead and gone because somebody felt as though they could change the word of God to suit what they wanted. Okay. Be not carried about with diver and strange doctrines. Be not carried about with divers and strange doctrines. Well, brothers and sisters, they're taking these doctrines not only into the church. Like I said, I walk by a church and many of them say, well, it's inclusive for all. I don't know what Bible they're reading because the word of God, he says, as long as you do what he says, it's not what man says, it's not what I say. And it's what the most high Yeshua says, Yahuwah says, yeah. Okay. Be not carried about by divers and strange doctrines. It is also coming into the school. That's why uh, Jesus said that the days of his coming shall be shortened because even the elect may not be saved otherwise. Okay, I'm just sharing this with you, brothers and sisters. Be not changed by strange and diverse doctrines. Watch out for your children. Find out what they're learning in school. Find out if this curriculum, which is they're trying to make it a law, a doctrine, a strange and diverse doctrine is also within the school systems. Because many people don't attend churches that I won't say a same sex marriage. There's no such thing. Marriage was instituted by the most high between a man and a woman. So I say a same sex relationship that they try to recognize under the law of God, which would never recognize it. Why? I'm on God's side, not man's side. If God said it, I'm teaming up with God and there's no breaking away, not to the right nor to the left, straight ahead. But strange and diverse doctrines, my brothers and sisters, it is not just in some churches that you will see this. You will, all, and I didn't expect to see this when I walked by the church. I was stunned, like, Whoa, they're flying these huge flags. There's the church I was at. I didn't even think to take a picture. I just walked by like, wow. No, I didn't attend the church. But seeing it was shocking. It's a strange and diverse doctrine. Okay. Um, but they're now trying to bring it into the school systems. You have some of the schools in California are fighting it. This year, it was instituted as a law in New Jersey. It's supposed to begin either 2019 to 2020 school year or 2020 school year to 2021. Either way, many of you out there have young children who go to the public school systems, and you need to be aware. Sit down, teach your children, speak to them of the word of God, his laws, his judgment, his statutes. Teach them, all right? Strange and diverse doctrines strange and diverse doctrines. The enemy goes about seeking whom he may devour. He's seeking whom he may devour. You be at peace. Shalom.